Okay, so this is going to be a quick tutorial video on how to use the Noun Project to find an appropriate uh, image to plasma cut into metal. So we're going to start off with a simple search, um, and we want to find something that we think is going to be kind of interesting or representative, something that is in, uh, of importance to us. Uh, so I'm going to look for something space-themed. And as I'm looking at various uh, icons, I want to find something that is inherently laser cuttable. Uh, that means things that are not either too complicated uh, or uh, aren't going to have little pieces that are going get, to get cut and fall apart. And so several of these are not going to work very well. Um, and so we'll want to kind of shop around and see if we can find something that is uh, generally just very simple um, and iconic of our overall theme. Uh, so I'm seeing something like this um, would possibly be laser cuttable. You'll notice that there's no kind of pieces cut inside of it. Um, this is the type of thing that, you know, when we put it on the plasma cutter, uh, it will stay intact. Uh, as opposed to something like this, where you can see that if we cut these inside pieces, uh, they're just going to fall out. Uh, so I like this one. And so I'm going to uh, get this icon. And you may need to kind of sign in for this. And uh, so there's no... Uh, you don't have to pay for this, just use the basic download. Uh, and we will download this as an SVG. Okay, so that's going to be downloaded into our drive. Uh, now at this point then, we're going to open up uh, Fusion 360, uh, and we're going to make sure that we're in just the default design tab. Uh, and one of the first things that we want to do is we want to expand our document settings uh, and change our active units to be in inches. So our plasma cutter likes to think in inches, and so we're going to work with that. The next thing we're going to do uh, is we're going to click on Create Sketch. Uh, and in here, you'll actually see there's a variety of different uh, axes that we can uh, build on. We want to build on this, this bottom axis here. Uh, and at this point, then, we're going to create a center diameter circle right at the center. Uh, and I'm going to drag this out, and I'm going to make the diameter of the circle 4 inches. And I can do that just by... Uh, clicking on it and typing the number 4. So I'll hit enter and now I have a 4 inch diameter circle. Uh, at this point then I'm going to insert and I want to insert the SVG that I just downloaded. I need to insert that from my computer and so we'll give it a second. We'll go down to downloads and here I can see the icon that I just downloaded. And in here, I can see now that I can kind of click on this little blue square and move it around. Uh, I do want to kind of expand uh, its uh, size. And so around this blue square, there's a little kind of half moon shape here where I can kind of make it big. And I want to take up as much space as possible. The bigger this is, the easier the, it's going to be for the uh, plasma cutter to cut. But I don't want to get so close to the edges uh, that uh, it falls apart. And so that looks okay. Uh, now you'll notice that there's some text here, and that's okay. We're going to delete that in just a moment. But I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Uh, and now I can kind of zoom in on this text, and I can select it and delete it. So at this point then, I'm left with a 4-inch circle with my icon in the middle. Uh, and I can go ahead and click Finish Sketch. Okay. At this point, I've made some good progress, so I'm going to go ahead and save this. And so I'm going to call this uh, Sample Cut, but you can call yours um, your name or whatever it is that you've designed. Uh, and at this point then, I'm ready to begin setting it up for the plasma cutter. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on design and go over to manufacture. Uh, and the very first thing we have to do is actually tell the uh, Fusion 360 program a little bit about the tool that we're going to be cutting with. To do that, we're going to click on tool library. And we're going to go to local and click on library here. Uh, and we want to add a new tool. And you'll only have to do this one time. Uh, and so at this point, we're going to add a plasma cutter. For the description, uh, our uh, plasma cutter is called a razor cut, 45 amp. Okay, over here on cutter, uh, we're going to make sure that it's set in inches. And the kerf width is 0 0.055 inches. Uh, and the nozzle clearance diameter is 1 inch. If we come over to cutting data, we're going to change our cutting feed rate to 150 inches per minute. 
uh, and this will automatically go over to tool feed cutting and that to 150 inches per minute as well, and that's good. This, is, this can change depending on the type of material that you're cutting. Uh, for what we're going to be cutting in this lab, 150 inches is just fine. So we'll go ahead and click Accept, and we see that we've created a new tool there. Now you'll see that I have one that I'd created before, um, and it's just set up exactly the same, but you just need one. And we'll click Close. Okay. Now at this point then, we're going to create a new setup. So we'll go to Setup and click New Setup. Okay. For the operation type, we're going to change this to Cutting. Okay. Uh, for the model orientation, uh, we're actually going to zoom in and we want to click on this bottom left hand stock point right here. Uh, and we're going to click over on stock and we're going to choose from the stock offset mode, no additional stock. And so we should see that the dimensions are four inches by four inches uh, and that we're kind of set up here in this, this bottom left hand corner. At this point, we can go ahead and click OK. Uh, and now we're going to start a cutting operation. So we're going to go in here to cutting and select 2D profile. Uh, and we want to uh, select our tool. And that's going to be the one that we just created. So we can select that razor cut 45 amp. Uh, and it should automatically update these feed rates to 150 inches per minute. If not, you may need to reset those um, manually. Over here on the geometry selection, we're going to be selecting the objects that we want to cut out. Uh, and for this, I like to work inside out, and so we'll select these kind of coming in here. Okay, so we select those three, and then we're going to select on this contour as well, because all of these things are going to get cut. Uh, at this point, then, we can come over to Passes. Uh, we're going to change this uh, sideways, uh, or the, sorry, the compensation type from in control to in computer. And for linking, uh, we're going to select Keep Nozzle Down. Uh, the maximum stay down dif distance is going to be 24 inches. The cut stock clearance uh, can stay at 0 0.1. Uh, and the stay down feed rate can get changed to 300 inches per minute. Um, at this point, we're going to make sure that lead-in entry is selected. Uh, lead-in radius can be set to 0, but our lead-in sweep angle needs to be set to 90 degrees and our lead in distance can get changed to uh, 0.1 inches. We're going to unselect lead out. We don't need that in anything in particular. Uh, and what this is going to do is it's going to determine how it's going to actually begin our cuts. It's going to start our cuts kind of off the line um, to make sure that we don't burn any kind of important pieces of the metal away. Um, at this point then, we can click OK. And we're going to go and inspect our pieces and make sure that everything is cutting the way that we would uh, expect it to. Okay, so as we zoom in, we can see here, and if I do a little simulate, I'd, and we can turn on stock, uh, if I hit the play button, you can see where the laser is going to start in here and cut that piece away. Uh, and what that means is that this piece is going to fall away. And that's okay, this is scrap. We don't actually want to keep this piece. Uh, we'll see that it performs that operation again for this piece. Okay, it's going to cut it out. Uh, and again, this is okay that it cut into here because this piece is going to ultimately get thrown away. We see it do one more pass, and that's fine, because again, this piece is going to get thrown away. Ah, but in here, what we see is that it started cutting on this outside circle, and it actually cut inside the circle. And I actually, I'm going to keep this, uh, this circular piece. I'm going to throw away these, these outer edges. And I'm not okay with the fact that it kind of cut onto this good piece of material that I'm going to be keeping behind. Uh, and so at this point, I'm going to close this down and I'm going to go right click on this 2D profile operation and click edit. And if I come over to the geometry tab, oh, I can see what happened here where this arrow is kind of on the wrong side of material. If I click on the arrow, it's going to say, hey, everything that's cutting on this side is scrap. And so if I click OK again and go back to the simulate button, okay, as I simulate this cut again, and I can even kind of speed it up a little bit using this tool. Okay, I see it cuts there. Again, all this looks good because those parts are going to get thrown away. Ah, and now I can see it cuts on the outside so that at the end of the day, I'm going to have a really nice plasma cut circle with a nice uh, planet shape cut out of it. At this point, then, I can click Close. This all looks good according to me. Uh, I'm going to save it. Again, I'm, I can just hit Control-S or Command-S depending on what you're uh, doing. 
And then what we're going to do uh, is we're going to share this link um, with the lab assistants and on Discord uh, so that we can prepare it uh, for the final plasma cutting. To do that, we're going to open up the data panel. Uh, we're going to scroll down for this to sample cut. Okay, and I can see it right here. Um, I'm going to click here to kind of look at where it's at. Uh, and if I right click on this, I can say share public link. And I'm going to make sure that I want to share the latest version and allow the item to be downloaded. And so I will copy this, uh, this link and I will post it on Discord um, so that we can get it ready for the plasma cutter. And that's it.